So when I was younger, I was the kid that had to have everything matching. I had a room with periwinkle blue, sheets, pillow covers, and yes, even the walls. I had as many things as I could that was all matchy-matchy. Now I feel like today we definitely see a lot more matchy-matchy. I'm actually wearing a fully matching outfit, so I feel like this is very, you know, well picked for today's video where we're gonna talk about the color trends. Yes, Benjamin Moore has released their color trends of 2024 and I'm here for it. And the reason why I tell you about my periwinkle room is because I have some nostalgia when I see these colors. Now it's not periwinkle, blue, purple, I feel like it's a crossover, but their color of the year absolutely gives me very similar vibe. Should I paint everything that color? <laughs> no, I don't think I'll do that again, but I love this color and I do think it's a color you could really commit to and use in your space and that is Blue Nova CC860. I will put it up on the screen. It is a beautiful blue. I will say personally, I love blues. Navy blue is one of my personal favorite colors. And when I saw the lineup for this year, I'll be honest, I thought it was pretty meh. It wasn't like outstanding, but I loved the blue. And the blue is the showstopper for this year's color palette. I did find you're seeing that trend of muted neutral tones really, really show in the color trends that they've picked for this year. Last year, if you'll recall, it was that beautiful, bold pink color, almost more of like a fuchsia ready pink color. It was gorgeous. And this year, I love the blue, but it is the whole palette is very muted and soft. And I feel like very different than last year. However, I feel like it really suits what's happening right now in, you know, design, in the world. I don't know if you have watched a video, I will link it below if I can remember which one it was where I talked about it, how a lot of what's happening in our trends, in our influences on what we're seeing constantly is really reminiscent of what's happening around us. We're, you know, potentially going into the R word uh, if we're not already there. So, you know, if a recession is happening, people tend to stay in more. They tend to close their wallets. And we're seeing that in this change in style where we're really moving into a very homey, very comfortable, very warm, very soft, and very earth tone-like colors. You get that a lot when we're facing these, you know, kind of harder economic times. I say air quotes because it really depends on where you're watching from and your own personal circumstances. Everyone's different. But I would say collectively we're seeing that in our economy. And although I am not a channel that talks about that, it really does resonate with design because we do tend to see that designs ebb and flow depending on what's happening in the world. And the trends do generally tend to follow that same kind of feeling in a design sense. Let's talk a little bit about Blue Nova, the color of the year. What I love about Blue Nova is its versatility. It can really be used to transform an entire room. You can use it as a bold accent or even a great place for it would be a front door. It's actually really similar to the front door color that I do actually have. I'll have to check what that is. <laughs> Maybe I was ahead of the curve. What I love about this color is if you were to do it in a matte finish, this type of rich mid-tone blue really will have a beautiful velvety feel. I feel like you could see this color on a sofa and it would just be gorgeous. I also love the, the thought of the color like this in your kitchen cabinetry. If you're one of those people that is you know, comfortable doing something a little bit more bold with your color scheme on an island would be great if you don't wanna to commit to the whole space. I do think that this is one of those colors that it's almost a neutral because of how versatile it is. I feel like that's one of the great things with you know, certain shades of blue, those mid-tones and more navy blues, is they do really work well with a lot of other colors, styles, and complements throughout your space. So I really do love the selection that they've gone with, with the Blue Nova. As much as I love that pink, that is not a color that's easy to work with. This one, I feel like if you were just needing a refresh and you wanna paint your bedroom, all walls, this color, it will look good and you'll like it. 
if you like the color. You'll like it. <laughs> so let's look at the remainder of the color palette for the 2024 reveal. And these are really complementary to their color of the year. And we're going to go into what they are and my thoughts on them. So the complementary color palette with the color of the year includes the following. White Dove, Pristine, Topaz, Teacup Rose, Honeybee, Regent Green, Antique Pewter, Polar Sky, and Hazy Lilac. It is a very interesting color palette. I say the first four are very, very muted. They're soft. They don't read in a very bold or out there way. I do love that they've used White Dove. It's a classic in the interior design world. We often see White Dove used in residential, whether it's for uh, baseboards or ceilings or even wall colors. It's a beautiful white. The Pristine is more of a creamy white. It reads more of an off-white, but it has a bit of a pinky undertone. So it's one that you may want to be careful with if you're not looking for some of those pink or pinky tones with your space. The topaz, I feel like we're seeing a lot of that in furniture, whether it's through leathers and that type of orangey leather type of a color or those beautiful velvets we're seeing a lot of. I haven't seen so much of it used in a paint form in the design world per se. Not saying it's not, I just haven't stumbled across it. I think it's a great accent color, but I personally prefer this color in different types of pieces so it could even be in your bedding if you're interested in you know some side chairs or guest chairs or even just throw pillows i actually really love this if you're not wanting to commit to something too much but you want to bring in some of these new colors i think this one in a beautiful throw pillow in that beautiful velvet would look amazing is to bring it in because it is a very bold you know terracotta type color and i feel like with those type of colors they do tend to ebb and flow and they do tend to come and go so we, you know, caution on that one, I think. The teacup rose, I don't know. This one is like, I love the color. I love pink. Pink is definitely a color that I love. I feel like it's a beautiful color for, you know, a bathroom or a powder room. I think this would be great in a guest room, perhaps, or even as an accent wall. Maybe if you were to do some paneling and then paint it out in this beautiful teacup rose. I also feel like it reads cottage core. Like there's something about that soft pastel -y pink that I feel like would just look really lovely in a farmhouse or, you know, a shabby chic, that really, really soft color to it. I think that it's just a very lovely color that you can kind of bring in. And it could be in accents, it could be in throw pillows, and it could be as a paint color because it's not super bold. So I think, you know, if you like the pinks, this could work really well. I think my number one would be like a powder room. I would love to do a pink powder room. Honeybee. I, I don't know my feelings on yellow. I love this yellow. It is a super soft yellow. And I feel like because of its softness, it's super versatile. It's very much a neutral. It will look good with all of these other colors. But yeah, I love it and I don't love it because I feel like it comes and goes as well. Like I feel like this is a great accent to throw in. Maybe a washroom, maybe a laundry room. You know what? That's exactly where I'd use this color. I would use this in a laundry room because laundry, who likes laundry? Okay, maybe some people like laundry. I don't love laundry. I feel like this would be a great laundry room color or maybe a guest room. Eh, no. Yeah, I don't know what it is about yellow. I don't, I love the color to see it, but I struggle with where to apply it. So that's my thoughts on that. Yeah. Okay, green. I think this is an amazing color. I think you can use it in a lot of different ways. The way I have my office here in all black, I feel like you could do that with the region green and it would really have that beautiful, bold and dynamic look to it. I think it's also a great complementary color in a space. It's one of those colors that I think you could bring in a lot of different ways, depending on how you want to use it. And I think whether you do a little bit or a lot of it, it will look really good. I think this is another beautiful color that you could bring into furniture and actually have some beautiful pieces in this deep 
beautiful green type color. I think in a velvet would look absolutely stunning. I also love the thought of bringing this in with your curtains. You could do a really gorgeous set of, you know, deep green curtains that would also bring this color palette into your space. So some of my lesser favorite on this list is the Antique Pewter, the Polar Sky, and the Hazy Lilac. Now, I say less favorite because I don't know if I would paint my space these colors. I feel like these are more colors that you see in other forms. So like the lilac, that's a gorgeous color in clothing. Like I think that's a great color for, you know, a jumpsuit or a sweater or a beautiful shirt or a blouse. Or perhaps if you do want to bring it in as an accent, I just don't see myself personally using it as like painting a whole room. That being said, it would be a very beautiful kid's room or... That's it. That's all I can think of. It would be great for a kid's room. Same with the polar sky. That There's something about that powdery blue that just... It looks dated to me. I found the polar sky and the hazy lilac look old. I don't know. It, it, is it just me? Comment below. Like... I don't know, they just look dated. And I like blues, but I don't like baby blues. I don't like powder blues. I don't like mint, like that light minty type, bluey type colors either. I feel like they have their place, again, maybe in that cottage core or like shabby chic, maybe a little bit. You can bring in some of those powdery blues. I think it could look good on like distressed furniture. That is probably where I would use that powdery blue color maybe as like an accent piece, but probably more in a furniture piece than a wall item. Yeah, that's actually where I think I would like it the most personally. But again, these are my personal thoughts on it. You do not have to <laughs> agree with me by any means. And then Antique Pewter, lovely color. I'm pretty sure I had a living room painted that color back in, you know, the early 2000s. So for me personally, it's just a re kind of like a reboot of something that I've seen before. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's a lovely color. Again, there's something about some of those, these three colors that just feel a little bit old to me. And I mean, just a personal opinion. I do think with the antique pewter, it is a beautiful color in the sense that you could, you know, really use this as an accent or in a different space. And it will look lovely if you really like that color it will read very well on the walls. I'd probably avoid like the honeybee, the polar sky, and the hazy lilac for like an overall room, except for perhaps the yellow in a laundry room. I don't know, but that's my personal, very personal thought. I definitely like more of a quiet, neutral color palette with some bold statement areas. Like I love my office being all black, but again, it's a black is like a neutral, right? I have a, do have a pink room. It's more of a dusty, rosy kind of pink, very similar to some of last year's colors. That being said, like I do feel like there's ways that you can play with color within your space. And again, color is so personal. That is one thing I have learned in my years of design. One you know, group of people will love a color and another group of people will absolutely hate that color. You, like, you just can't when it comes to color, you can't speak to everybody because it's so personal and such a personal preference. You might be looking at Polar Sky and be like, that is the best color ever. And that is my favorite color and throw Blue Nova out the window. And that's totally cool. It's whatever you guys like. So these are the Benjamin Moore 2024 color of the year. I think it's always fun to see what's on trend and what's happening in the, you know, color family. Cause we'll see a lot of this influence in the design trends for 2024 as well. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see about the colors I talked about last year, jump on over and check out this video next. It does talk about 2023 color trends, but I think it'll be interesting to see how much it's changed from then to now. All right guys, until next time, bye.